All right, guys, it's Gath there from Murphy's Film. Hope you are all doing well. Welcome to something very different for this channel. Um, today, I am going to be attempting my first product kind of shot, like still life kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be attempting my first go at it. So you're going to be here throughout the whole journey. Today, we are going to be shooting on the Hasselblad 500CM with some expired... Portra 160 VC. The whole idea of this video is A, I wanted to try something new and B, I've got two shots left on this roll and I was feeling a bit uninspired, didn't really know what to shoot. So I thought we'd try something new together. So without any further ado, let's get all set up and ready to go. So the idea for today's shoot is I'm gonna be shooting this bag of coffee beans from a local roaster called 92 Degree Coffee up in Liverpool. Um, this is not sponsored, they have not asked me to do this, I just want to try it out because them beans are absolutely amazing. This is the yellow bourbon flavour from 92 Degree Coffee. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link down in the description because they do ship anywhere in the UK. As I say, not sponsored, I just really like the coffee and I thought I'd try something new out for myself. So, the plan for this is, is I've got two studio lights either side of the G7X right now. Um, I've also got a gold reflector to my right but that can also be turned to white. So the plan is, I'm gonna shoot this bag of coffee on the white table, which is beneath me now. It's not the tidiest white table, because it used to be my old office desk, but it's being cleaned, so I'm okay to put coffee beans down, etc. And I'm just trying to go for that kind of clean white background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the Hasselblad up on this tripod. From there, I've got my two lenses, both being the Hasselblad 80mm 2.8 that everyone's familiar with. I've also got the 50mm f4 Biogon. I've got two shots left, as I said before, um, and I'm shooting this because it's expired in 2017 at ISO 50. Obviously, it's been just one decade, so really I could shoot at about 80 or 75, maybe even 100, but I'd, I'd rather give it some overexposure than some underexposure. So I'm gonna go through every step with you, you guys yourselves, setting it up, literally the whole process. That That's the idea for this video. So I've got myself a flash gun, me, me um, self timer, my light meter. The only thing that I am a little bit unsure about is my light meter does not have a flash setting. So we're kind of gonna be guessing with the flash. But I'm thinking I'm gonna do one with flash and one without. Um, we're just gonna see which compositions I like, etc., etc. Let's get on with it. I've got the Hasselblad up on the tripod with the waist level viewfinder on top. I can change that out to the right angle eye thing, which to be honest with you, I probably will. Um, so the next step is I'm gonna tilt this baby forward. Also, I've changed the tripod so it's actually facing. I can get as close to the table as possible. So I'm gonna see how close I can focus at the minute. I obviously know it's three foot. So I'm gonna see if I can hit the table if I need to extend the tripod out or anything like that. And before I even start, I am gonna switch that out to the right angle adapter because it'll be much, much easier for me to see. Right, so just like I thought, the tripod is too low down at the minute. The only thing is with making it obviously taller is it can become slightly less unstable. I have adjusted the tripod so it's not exactly pointing down. It's on a little bit of an angle. And from where you can see here, Obviously the Hasselblad shoots square. Um, that is on the very far right of the composition and that is on the very top left corner. I'll put a little view down on my phone. It's not in focus yet because I'm at the closest focus of three foot and obviously that's not three foot away. So we're gonna raise it up. Right, so the tripod's been fully extended. At its absolute highest height, it was about three and a half foot away from the table. So I've lowered the center column so it's bang on three foot, well, yeah, just under three foot, which is the closest focusing distance. To be fair, I'm gonna be stepping the lens down anyway, but I just wanted to make sure that I can get that critical focus where I need it. Also, because it's raised as high as it is, I had to get myself more than a step a footstool and an actual step ladder. <laughs> So ignore all the mess in the background, but front and center of this photograph is gonna be this bag of coffee as you've seen earlier. So I want 
And so what I'm thinking is to have this bag of coffee slap bang in the middle with coffee beans scattered around it. So I'm gonna go set that up and just leave the camera running as I do. All right guys, so this bit I'm just recording with my phone just cause it'll be easier. So I've got the uh, bag of coffee set up there, slap bang in the middle with the beans set around it. I need to fold that in a bit actually. Make it more obvious to be seen. So let's get ourselves up on the ladder. I need to duck them up here. See what the composition's like. So that's telling me I need to bring the coffee down a bit more towards the bottom of the table. Try and cover up a couple of the scratches that are actually already in the table. And it's going to take a, either a lot of coffee beans to fill up the frame or I'm gonna have to use some props such as a cup, of, a, a cup or I've got my Leica M6 over there in the corner if I need it just to kind of fill in some space. Right so I've got myself a composition that I'm happy with here's a heads up overview kind of thing if we look through the viewfinder we can see we've got the cup of coffee up in the top right hand corner we are gonna to have to crop ever so slightly at the top and the bottom also, I do not have enough coffee beans to fill up the actual full frame. So we will be cropping this in a bit. I might move the cup in a little bit more, just so I can bring the crop in a little bit tighter. But I think I'm just going to get my meter reading. I'm just going to reposition my light so I get more, uh, more light onto the actual scene. And then we're going to take the first picture on the 80mm. Right, so I think what I've decided to do here is I'm going to shoot the... Um, I'm going to shoot this image around f8 something like that so i'm going to take one on the 80 mil um, and i'm going to take one on the 50 mil because the 50 mil can focus a lot closer even though it's a wider angle lens i want to take the shot at f8 as you've just seen through the viewfinder we're looking all good we're gonna to have to do a slight crop due to the minimum focus distance but i'm okay with that it, it is what it is it's about the final image and all this has been prepped for the actual image so that that's fine i'm okay with a slight crop I will be keeping the square aspect ratio, obviously, but if anything changes when I get the scan back, you guys will see. So without moving my light yet, I need to fix the shadows around this side, but I wanna shoot this at F8, as I say, because I want a nice amount of depth. Um, the bag, I'm getting a meter reading of one quarter of a second and the black of the coffee i'm getting a uh, one second exposure so i'm going to shoot this a half a second for the whole scene and that should give us a nice even amount of light across the whole the whole scene so i'm just going to move these lights about a little bit try and get rid of some shadows i've got a reflector there with a white side on the other side if i need it so we're gonna move these lights about get set up and take the sh take the first shot on the 80 mil Right, so I've dropped my two soft boxes down to either side. I've got the white reflector at the back. I've got me two soft boxes, one to the left, one to the right. That's even though the majority of the shadow, so I'm, I'm okay with that. We're gonna take another meter reading. We're gonna take one for the coffee, which is still about the same, which is quarter of a second at F8. One on the bag, which is one eighth of a second oh which is one fifteenth of a second at f8 so there's two last things i'm going to do before taking this shot the first is putting the lens hood on just in case we get any flare off the off the uh, soft boxes so that's done and the next is i'm going to get the shutter release cable and take the shot Okay, so we're all set up, ready to go. The last step that I need to do is put the mirror up on this Hasselblad and move the strap out the way. So to do that, we've got the button right here. You just heard. The mirror's gone up. Time is set and I'm gonna do the shutter and make sure it's out the way. Three, two, one. And there we go, first image done. Now to move on to the 50 mil. Right, so I've got the 50 mil onto the Hasselblad now, and I'm thinking for this, I'm actually gonna lower the camera down to table level and stand the bag up, rather than have it another head down shot. Just 
because with that we can actually have a little bit of difference between the two shots we can pick and choose which composition we like more we've got the white background being the reflector I'm probably going to keep the lights the same because that seemed to work pretty well reducing shadows etc um, so I'm going to drop this down now to table table height and I'll see you in a sec so guys this is what I've come up with for the next shot on the 50 mil so as you can see I've moved stuff about I've stood the coffee bag up straight put plenty of coffee leading toward the lens so it covers most of the foreground area and here is the image through the waist level I've obviously moved on to the waist level because it's a lot lower I've moved the coffee over into the far corner and I'll put my Leica M6 in the other corner just to fill out the uh, the blank space I do need to put some more coffee beans towards the Leica because as you can see there's a lot of white space and the reflector will be the white background however I need to pick it back up because I knocked it over moving the lights ever so slightly just to give some more boomph onto the actual coffee bag so I'm going to pick the reflector up, move some beans about, and then take a meter read and we should just go for the shot. So once again, here's the plan. I've just took a meter reading for the actual bag of coffee beans itself. And that is showing me that at F8, it's between 1 15th and 1 30th on the actual coffee beans itself. It's showing me one quarter of a second. So I'm going to shoot this at one eighth of a second once again. But to be fair, not much has really changed. The only thing is, is I am going to have to hold up the reflector somehow while shooting the image to cover, to cover the background. Let's just see if we can figure this out while on camera. Is my arm in shot? No. So I'm going to have to hold it and then take the shot with the shutter release with more, this is going to be difficult. Honestly, the things you do for YouTube. So that's the best I can do for being able to film myself while holding this up, while taking the shot. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you how ridiculous that looks. So I've got the shutter release in hand. Mirror's already locked up on the Hasselblad. And I'm really worried about my G7X, so I'm just going to take the shot. And there we go, shot done. And that is the end of the roll. Alright guys, so if you're still here, thank you for watching to the end of the video. Let me know what you thought about this, because it was something a little bit different for me, and it was, I suppose it's something a little bit different for you too. Um, I've completely changed because I forgot to record an outro when I was recording the video. Um, but as I say, it was just something a little bit different, new to me, new to you and I thought to document the whole process. So if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave this video a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to try something similar out like this or if you guys do shoot product photography yourself, let me know. Send me some of your stuff over on Instagram, at Murphy's Film. And the next product shot, if I do do another one, will hopefully be Iron Brew related because they will get in, I'll be able to get in touch with them and they will finally realize that I exist. So if you did enjoy this, Remember to hit that subscribe button. It's been Garth here from Murphy's Film and I'll speak to you guys next week where we take a look at how I edited these pictures. Peace out.